So we'll make it one farad so that calculations will become easier. So what was the initial charge across the plates of capacitor? So then before closing the switch, first we'll get the charges. Then after closing switch, what will be the we'll make it a little bit big. I know uh, all the charges. So th this will be initial Q naught one minus Q naught one. This will be Q naught two minus Q naught two. You check the advanced papers. We don't have anything about initial charge in a circuit. We don't have anything about initial charge on a circuit. So this should be equal to now. Uh, so shall we calculate first this Q naught ones? Q naught one should be equal to 90 coulombs. Q naught two should be equal to 35 into 270 coulombs. Micro, I'll consider in the end, we can we introduce micro, no problem. Q naught three equal to uh, 180, 195 coulombs. This is the initial charge across all the capacitors. Q equal to C into V. Now I'm going to close the switch. So this is the capacitance C1, C2, C3. One farad, two farad, three farad. Now after closing switch, what will be the conditions? Uh, here uh, in, in all these capacitor circuits, what is the basic method? Charge of a cell must be conserved. In all that numericals, what is the uh, basic condition? It has to be satisfied. The charge of a cell must be conserved. So these charges, I'll, I'll take it out. What charges will be present? Uh, shall we say they're in series and same charge? The answer is no. This is very, 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 very important. So you can't put like a, the, no sir, the capacitor says, I'll put a same charge. No, the charges will be different. So the charges will be Q1, individual charges will put it in circuit Q1 minus Q1 minus Q2, Q3 minus Q3. So why can't we put the same charge? No, not possible. And the charge of these plates are conserved. So what is the charge of these plates? Minus Q0 plus Q02. So they should be equal to minus Q1 plus Q2. Similarly, the charge of these plates are conserved. And the charge of these plates must be conserved. Then the charge of these plates should be conserved. I think, uh, okay, no. Uh, so the group grouping of plates, so what was the initial charge of uh, this at X, Y, if you want, you can write it like uh, some symbols you can bring X, Y, this is Z. X, Y, and let this be Z. Okay, now, now, now the switch is closed. We are discussing the problem now. Uh, at X, what is the equation? Minus Q naught plus Q naught two. Should be equal to minus Q1 plus Q2. Minus Q naught 90 plus 70. So they should be equal to minus Q1 plus Q2. So they should be equal to minus Q1 plus Q2 equal to minus 20. Keep it equation one. Similarly, at Y, at Y it should be equal to uh, minus Q2 looking at above equation, minus Q0 plus Q0 three is equal to minus Q2 plus Q3. This should be equal to minus Q2 plus Q3. Uh, Q0 195, you remove 125. At Z, Z it should be equal to Q1 minus Q3 should be equal to Q0 one minus Q naught three. Q naught one minus Q naught three. So this should be one naught five.
we'll write one more loop equation and it minus q1 by c1 minus q2 by c2 minus q3 by c3. Solving 1, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, we'll get the required answer. He's asking each generated. What to do for each generated? I think the problem is not at all. It's further asking the each generated. For that, what has to be done? Initial energy of the circuit, you have to calculate the final energy. Then you have to check how much of charge flown through the battery. Delta Q. How to calculate Delta Q? I do take help of this plate. What was earlier charge plus Q01, now minus plus Q1. So here, the flow of charge can be determined. Q01 charge is there. When plus Q charge enters, will become Q1. So work done by the cell. So what is our final UI plus work done by the cell, delta Q into this, we'll write E into E should be equal to UF plus E generated. I think, can you remember this conservation of energy principle? This is the electrostatic potential engine. There's a work done by cell. There's a final electrostatic potential. There's a E generated in circuit, very, very generalized one. So initial values, so will be Q01, 2C1, Q02 square by 2C2, plus work done by the cell <coughs> equal to, this will be Q1 square by 2C1, Q2 square by 2C2. No need to uh, at least analyze what actually going on. Huh? Maybe a little bit calculations are more. Like this, we'll get the each generated. Possibility of asking these such things to such level in advance also. Of all very important, charge should not, because of initial charge present, you cannot put same charge in all the capacity. This is a very, very important part. And this isolated plates, so charge of isolated plate must be conserved. Okay, these are the very fundamental things what you know, that is what we are applying it. It's left to you. You can take screenshot or I'll send the, the a PDF. We just put message that you'll get a PDF. It's left to you. You can take screenshot. No, no I don't have any object.